Hello What's everybody! Up? Welcome to our channel. My name is Sam. My name is Ryan. And today we're doing something fun and sneaky. We're going to be perusing the internet uh, to see what's out there about us, basically. How is that sneaky? I don't know. I, it feels sneaky because like it's like information around. about us. You know what I mean? It's like we're spying on ourselves on the internet. Isn't that the opposite of sneaky? Like we know that we're spying on us. Oh. Um, so it's like, well, and we're filming it. And we're filming it. I guess this isn't Out very sneaky open. at all. We're going to be looking at this information, uh, reacting to it, and letting you guys know if it's true or false. Have you ever Googled yourself before? I try not to. The internet's a pretty terrible place. The internet's a horrible place. Uh, I, I have before, just out of curiosity, and I feel like at the time, like, there wasn't much to be found out there, but I haven't in a while, so I'm interested to see, like, since my rise to fame on the Sam and Ryan channel, <laughs> if there's anything new. We have a couple of topics here that we just thought would be funny to Google. So we're just gonna go into our little laptop and do this thing. Let's do it. Starting with one of, I think, the funniest things to Google about people because everyone always Googles this about their favorite celebrities and mm -hmm. it is always wrong. It's there is absolutely true. no way to verify this information whatsoever unless someone releases their tax returns, which really you only have to do if you're a president and sometimes not even then. <laughs> so we're going to Google our respective net worth mm -hmm. uh, and see how much money Google thinks we have. Spoiler alert, I bet they're wrong. I bet they're wrong too. Let's see. Let's see. How much money do you have? Ryan McCartan net worth 600,000. Oh, someone sent me an article once saying that I was worth four million dollars. So I guess, wow, I, I guess, guess my net worth has declined. really gone down. Yeah, let's see. Oh so, wait, here we go. Here, there's, there's one down here. According to some sources, Ryan McCartan's net worth is estimated to be within the range between one million and five million. Approximately. Approximately. And that was in 2020. Let's see. Idol Wiki says earned an impressive fortune of three million. Wow. I, uh, apparently they know my house and my car. Networthlist.org. It's an organization, not a commercial. Oh, Let's gosh. See. Member of TV actor. Oh, there, there it is. My underwear. What? Wait, scroll up. Net worth. Under review. Oh, okay. They don't know. They don't know. Before fame. Was there ever a time before I was famous? I love this. Associated with, he appeared alongside Ross Lynch in season four episode of the series Austin and Alley. I'm, that's who you're associated I'm with. I'm only associated with, with Ross, Ross Lynch. Lynch. No one else. No, that's hysterical. Oh, that's very funny. So, okay, like one to five million dollars is- Or 600,000. Or 600,000, according to wealthyleo.com. Also, what is this picture? I am not sure. Look how short my hair used to be. I know, it's crazy. I don't know if I miss it. Hmm. I can't tell. You're not there. All right. All right, Google. How much money do I have? How much am I worth as a person? Between one million and five million. This is a very- Wow. This is a very common benchmark. Uh, wait, I'm sorry. Well- Hair color blonde. Blonde. Is there another Samantha Feckety out there no. in the world? She's collected a huge chunk of money from her successful career. Oh, here we go. One, One to five. five oh, actually, again. let me let me check my bank account. No, <laughs> that's not it. I just I love. Can we click in on one of these and see like why? Oh, oh, here click they're in on giving this. some like specific numbers over here. Estimated net worth: one point five million dollars. Estimated salary. $483,000 as a movie actress? Ma'am. I'm sort of gagged for this too. Between 2020 and 2021, you only made $182,000. Where did the 1.4 million come from? There's no information about like why they think I make this much. It's so funny because I think anytime articles like this see someone associated with like YouTube and like YouTube views and everything like that, they're like, oh, well, that girl was in a Dope or Note video that had 42 million views. So clearly so all of that money went to her. must right. have millions of dollars. It's like, that's not how a business works. I just, like, what are these numbers? Where, I'm, like, the, where do they just arbitrarily, I swear there are just people who, like, code these websites and they just have a little dartboard like, and they just throw a dart <laughs> and they're like, 1582, that sounds yeah, good. Yeah, like, movie where, actress. Where do these people, I am gagged for that. I mean, you know. <laughs> I mean. What is YouTube but a really, really small 
series of movies. Now we are gonna be looking at our famous birthdays pages. Now, famous birthdays, I think, was the very first like article or like website like this that I saw do anything about me, so I like felt very honored. And they tweet me happy birthday, and that makes me feel special. A long time ago, they had some like incorrect information about me, and I didn't like complain or anything, but they actually DM'd me and were like, hey, we'd love to have you come down to our studio in Santa Monica. Studio? And answer like a Q&A for our website and for your page and we can like fix anything that's incorrect about your bio. And I walked in and the guy that I was talking to was shocked by how much there was just wrong about me. He was like, oh yeah, we gotta change that. Oh yeah, we gotta change that. Oh, I yeah. always thought Famous Birthdays was run by like a 16 year old in the flyover Russia? states. Uh, you know oh, what I mean? Oh, like, I, like I, Wisconsin. All of, I, I, I always think of all of these sites as just like one person haphazardly <laughs> throwing information at the wall with absolutely no regard to reality. I didn't know that these no. people actually try. It's kind of sad considering how much they get wrong if they have a whole studio worth of people working Well, and for also them. if they have Google, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, we're proving right now that you can't quite Google everything, can you? I am the 6,000th. 382nd most popular. We love that. Let's look at some of these pictures. Yeah, we got pink hair, brunette hair, me at Christmas, showing off my nails, me looking cute. Brunette Sam was really cute. Brunette, like, Bob Sam was really cute. And that's when I went down to the famous birthday studio. Oh, look studio. at that. It all checks out. It all checks out. Yeah, birthday, July 11th, birthplace, London, England, cancer. Look at this, number five, first name, Samantha. That's pretty good. Hey! 21 year old actress, you're not even an actress. And I'm number 18. Look at that. Number 10 for born on July 11th. 42 for actresses born in England. Wow. I actually feel like that's high. pretty high. Yeah. Also considering I don't really consider myself an, an actress, actress anymore. Yeah. Like that's funny. This is funny. Samantha Fekety fans that also, also viewed. Are looking at. Okay, okay, I'm good with this. I'm good with this. Oh, they also have my Q and A, which we mm -hmm. uh, most definitely don't need to watch. That's a whole other. That's video a whole other thing. Itself. Okay, I'm doing me now. Okay. I'm a TV actor, not a movie actor. Oh, TV. Oh, number two for actor born in Minnesota. Oh, uh, who's number, number one? Probably Josh Hartnett. Chris, Chris Pratt. Pratt. Oh, you're above Vince Vaughn. Good, as it should be. Hmm. I, I, and I also make more money than him too. What do they got here? Best known for his recurring role as Diggy in Live and Maddie and Off-Broadway in Heathers, that feels right. Before Fame, again, 2011 Jimmy Award, yeah. National High School Musical Theater Awards. Okay, they mentioned Young Arts, the other one didn't. Mm. Appeared in high profile television series, including Royal Pains, TNT's Monday Mornings and ABC's Last Man Sitting in the Middle, that's all right. And then here again, associated with Ross Lynch. He appeared alongside <laughs> Ross Lynch in season four, an episode of the series Austin Alley. That's just such a weird, but this is why, like, I feel like these are all made by the same people. Like, oh, yeah. ju like they just, they just copy information from one site and put it onto another site and then someone else makes a website and copies that information. Yes. You know what I mean? It's like, and it's all, it's like factual, but it's all written the same way and it's sort of awkwardly pieced together. And it's also like, I didn't know you were such close friends. Oh, Ross and I Ross talk all Lynch. the time. And now on to a not great part of the internet. Uh, we have decided we need to look at our ratings on Wikifeet. Now, the internet is full of things. And uh, if you are really any amount in the public eye, odds are you're on Wikifeet. So we gotta see our ratings. I mean, we have to. But okay, um, right off the bat, five Beautiful stars. Feet. Good for you. Babe. I mean, I uh, don't know how to feel about that. Five stars. There's a place for us to rate them. Email me on new pictures. Oh, that's gross. Don't like that part. What's over here? Oh, you can see my birth date. Five people have said you have ugly Five feet. Five people said I have ugly feet. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Shoe size not set. You'll never know. I mean, yeah, like there, there are pictures of my feet out there. This is honestly a great picture of my feet. Like I think I have good feet in these shoes. 
I'm just glad, I mean, that's a great picture that's of me. That's a great picture of you. You know, just casual foot pictures. I love how it's like almost always the same shoes. Uh -huh. Happy that I have five stars? I don't know, man. No one should be happy about this. Yeah, it's um interesting, but yeah, Ryan, let's see, please let's see you. Yes! Amazing. I mean, I'm wow. really sad about the gender double standards that this just revealed, wow. but I'm really glad that I'm not on here. Yeah, no, it's it's not a good feeling. I mean, I, I think if I'm going to be uh, dehumanized in such a way, I'm thankful for a five-star rating, but that's this. very gross. I hate this. Let's move on. Wait, Ugh. now I'm just curious. Like, are any men on here? Oh, that's weird. I was not expecting that. I wasn't either. I mean, Harry Styles isn't that well known though. It does make sense. <laughs> ah, gross. This is gross, let's move on. Yeah, gross. Transitioning away from that really gross thing, just in terms of like the websites that just sort of find information and then just put it up there. We both have like wikis, like there's a Spellbound yeah. wiki and a Disney like wiki, Disney wiki fandom dot Mm -hmm. I don't know. So this is all of the Disney things that I've done, I think. Yeah. Austin and Allie, Diggy Smalls on the on Disney, this is Livin' Maddie, there's me as Diggy Smalls. What? Disneyland. He performed as Flynn Rider and a dancer. I never danced in the show. I love the revisionist history though because they don't mention that I played Sebastian in Mickey and the Magical Map, so. But uh, that was back in 2013, that's true. In addition, he plays Hans. He played Hans in the touring Broadway musical version of Frozen. I mean, nothing against tours, nothing but against no, tours, that but was I was Broadway. in the Broadway company, thank you very much. Thank you. Actor, singer, I'm American. I do come from Excelsior, I am 28. Also, partner Dove Cameron, doesn't have you at all. Well, it says 2013 to 2016. Maybe, I, I guess you're still single. Right, or maybe only the D the Disney, only partners Disney partners that I've had. Right. Oh, right, right. got it. I wonder what Miley Cyrus's look like. One comment to tell the truth, he's cute. I feel seen. That's really funny. I feel seen, Raven's murder. Thanks to, ta for that. to tell the truth. I mean, at least they're not lying. Right. Okay, so then we also found a Spellbound, Spellbound one. Spellbound Inc. wiki fandom. All right. Let's see how this oh, goes. Oh, pink hair. Pink hair, Sam. Let's see. Female Cancer 59, hair color pink. Died. That is no longer right. true. I, but I love how they had to specify that your hair is pink and dyed. dyed. It's you not weren't natural. born that way, right? I was not. I was not. Friends. Matthias, Tanner, and Woods. That's it. That's it. My, I have three friends. They're all right there. That's. Sorry, babe. You're, you're not there. Well, partner. partner Ryan McCartan. Okay, interesting. Boyfriend. So on here, you're allowed to have a boyfriend outside of the High Five universe. The yeah, Spellbound outside, universe. Uh, outside me. of the Spellbound universe. But That's... also, like, for, like, where's Rose? Where's. Well, I know. It's like, where's, you know? where's Kat? Where's anybody else in the studio? That's funny. They link to our, to our YouTube. That's nice. Love and that. To yours. In the Broadway world, she is known as the one who stole Ryan McCartan's heart. One, I'm, I'm just honored that I am known in the Broadway world, right, apparently. Because, because the Broadway is just constantly a buzz about my love about life. About your love life. That's I mean, so that, stupid. That, that sentence Who is really wonderful. Like, I'm probably going to screenshot that and keep that forever. That's hysterical. We got some more photos, a little slideshow. Oh, me and Zendaya. Best friends. Best friends. This is as so you can funny. Tell. They, they clearly picked that picture on purpose, like to legitimize oh, yeah. you. Like here she is with her friend Zendaya. Zendaya. She did a shoe line, and so it was promoting her shoe line, and it was all being filmed. And so there was just a moment where she was just like thanking all of her guests for coming. So it was it was more of like a like PR thing. Like girls from like Dance Moms were there. Like and how did you get involved? Uh, I. 
my mother is friends with slash I know like her manager. Okay. A and, and so we just kind of got an invite. It was my very first like Hollywood event. Uh -huh. I mean, I was there for like two weeks. Wow, pretty good Hollywood first Hollywood event. Yeah, like, she was cozying up with Zendaya. She was absolutely lovely. I just love that that photo makes it look like we were like chatting all night absolutely. and then took pictures when in reality she was just saying hello to like the group and then thanking her guests, thanking her guests, and then we took a selfie and she was so kind. This this is this is great. We have 12 comments. Some fact checking. She quit. I did not quit. Oh, JK. Oh, they said JK, JK. LOL. Small PP. Pee -pee. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> I would say overall the spellbound fandom wiki is by far the most accurate for me. You you really like the small PP comment? I just I uh, It's not like it's a mystery to anyone that the internet is a crazy place. No. <laughs> I mean, I, what are my takeaways? I feel like I, I feel like the the most interesting thing for me, a like the net worth thing was just wild. Just how completely rife with hyperbole that was. Yeah. But just like just at least for my stuff, like your stuff had some variety. My stuff was very clearly like. This website created a thing about Ryan McCartan, and then this website was created and just copied it and put it there, and then this website was created and then just copied it and put it there, and then they tried to introduce like small specks of variety that ended up being factually inaccurate or yeah. like missing a whole chunk of information. It's almost humbling in a way because it's <laughs> sort of like if you actually cared, if I actually mattered, you'd probably like put... Figure this out. You'd probably figure, figure this, this out. out. Like it's not that hard to find the truth. Yeah. Well, and I think that's why this Spellbound like fandom page is so accurate. I mean, there's still some things that I'm like... Right, because the Spellbound fans like... The, yeah, the Spellbound fans like obviously like make this yeah. and upkeep right, this. Right, right. And they're uh, dedicated. And the they're, Disney they're fans dedicated. are nine. Yeah, and, and like very passive. Yeah. I feel like Spellbound fans are very active, which is why like a lot of the information you'll find about me on the internet is likely true. Right, like how um, the entire Broadway world is abuzz about how about, you stole my I, heart. I stole Ryan McCartan's heart. I mean, God, to just be a part of the Broadway world, I'm, I'm thrilled. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. I don't know where we were going to go with that outro. Who knows? What the heck? What the heck, man? Oh, the internet. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. As always, if you enjoyed this, be sure to like, like and subscribe. You threw Dad. a little extra thing in there. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to I like did. and subscribe. We've never told them. We've never told We've them. We've just said like and subscribe. It, it doesn't enjoy. matter if you enjoy it. Like and like subscribe, and subscribe anyway. Yeah. You know what? Scratch that. Like yep. and subscribe. If you if you didn't like the video. Like, like and, and subscribe. subscribe. The way you show us that you hate us is by liking, liking and, subscribing. and subscribing. Subsequently, the way you show us that you love us is also by liking like and, and subscribing. subscribing. It's all the same. Yeah. It's all the same. Thank you guys so much for being here. We will see you all in a future video. Don't believe everything you read on the internet. Okay, bye! Because if I had four million dollars, I don't know, I guess... I, I guess I don't know. We'd, it, no. we'd be doing the same stuff. It would just be in like a doper house. Yeah. And... I would have been like, oh, cool, they got my net worth right. <laughs> All right, anyway. Bye, bye. guys. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>